Good morning, North Street students. Miss Flynn here, your former principal from North Grafton Elementary School. I hope you are all doing well. I miss you all so very much, but I know that you have grown up to be wonderful, successful students at North Street, and I hope that you are looking forward to today. So, Read Across America Week is an extremely important week in our year, and we love the opportunity to be able to read aloud to our students. So whether you're in second grade, third grade, fifth grade, or sixth grade, we love to be able to come at you and read something to you that is important um, both to us as well as we hope to you. So today I'm going to be reading the story, The Day You Begin, by Jacqueline Woodson, illustrated by Raphael Lopez. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you. Maybe it, will be, maybe it will be your skin, your clothes, or the curl of your hair. There will be times when no one understands the way words curl from your mouth, the beautiful language of the country you left behind. My name is Rigoberto. We just moved here from Venezuela. And because they don't understand, the classroom will fill with laughter until the teacher quiets everyone down. Rigoberto? From Venezuela, your teacher says so soft and beautifully that your name and homeland sound just like flowers blooming the first bright notes of a song. There will be times when the words don't come. Your own voice, once huge, now smaller, when the teacher asks, what did you do last summer? Tell the class your story. We went to France, Chela says. These shells came from a beach in Maine, a boy named Jonathan holds out a jar filled with tiny shells so fragile they look like they'll turn into dust in your own untraveled hands. My whole family went to India, Spain, South Carolina, each souvenir a small triumph of their journey. Their travels go on and on. And as you stand in front of that room, you can only remember how the heat waved as it lifted off the curb and your days spent at home caring for your little sister who made you laugh out loud and hugged you hard at nap time. You can only remember the books you kept on reading long after she had fallen asleep. And in that room, where no one else is quite like you, you'll look down at your own empty hands and wonder, what good is this when other students were flying and sailing and going somewhere? There will be times when the lunch your mother packed for you is too strange or too unfamiliar to, those, to love as you do for others to love as you do. When even your own friend Nadia will wrinkle her nose and say, what's in there anyway? And you'll wonder how she doesn't see the rice beneath the meat and kimchi. You'll wonder why she doesn't remember that rice is the most popular food in the world. There will be times when, the, when climbing the bars are too high, the run is too fast and far, the game isn't one, you can ever really play. I don't want him on our team. You can watch. Maybe you can have a turn later. There will be times when the world feels like a place that you're standing all the way outside of. And all that stands beside you is your own brave self, steady as steel and ready even though you don't know what you're ready for. There will be times when you walk into a room and there's no one there quite like you until the day you begin to share your stories. My name is Angelina and I spent my whole summer with my little sister, you tell the class, your voice stronger than it was a minute ago, reading books and telling stories and even though we were right on our block, it was like we got to go everywhere. Your name is like my sister's Rigoberto says, her name is Angelina too. And all at once, in a room where no one else is quite like you, the world opens itself up a little wider to make some space for you. This is the day you begin to find the place inside your laughter and your lunches, your books, your travels, and your stories, where every new friend has something a little like you and something else so fabulously not quite like you at all. And that 
my friends, is the end of the story the day you begin. It's so incredibly important that each and every one of you bring something different to your classroom, to our town, to your teams, to your anything that you participate in, and that's what we love about you, that you're all so different and so unique. We hope that you bring that every single day to North Street Elementary School and as you move up to the middle school, to the middle school as well, and know that that's what makes you one fabulous kiddo. It was so great to see you all. I hope you all have a wonderful day and happy Read Across America Week.